the House may consider such motion and come to a decision or refer it to a committee on a motion made by any member. Mr. Speaker, with all respect and humility to you, in this test, nowhere did he say Mr. Speaker will refer the matter to any ad hoc committee. It says that the House may take a decision, and decision in this House, Mr. Speaker, is taken by vote. So if we, if any member can move a motion that something should be referred to a committee, Mr. Speaker, it is for the decision of this House. That is what the one also is saying. And therefore, we will have to vote on it. I, 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 if, listen to him, sit down and listen. If you want to attack my ruling, come by a substantive motion. Your understanding of during the debate, debate of matters before the House, is not only during plenary session. At the committee level, what you do there is to debate. That is why when you agree at the committee level and you come and put across the case here, you don't waste time in debating again. Please. That is why the same rules that apply to plenary apply to committee level. When you talk about decision, yes, the decision is taken by the House. The decision is not taken by the Speaker. But it says, or refer it to a committee on a motion made by any member. The motion for censorship will have to be made by a member. And then you refer it to a committee. That is exactly what I said I'm going to do. With the greatest of respect to your office, the House is defined in this standard orders as Parliament. And the Speaker, Parliament, it is this chamber with the 275 members. Mr. Speaker, when it refers to uh, a Honourable decision, member, Honourable Member, please, the House cannot be constituted without a Speaker. You must understand that. It's when a Speaker is presiding that it becomes a House. You can't have this room with 275 members seated there and call yourself a House. You must move away from the understanding that you are the uh, makers of, of everything here. I've been listening to you. Don't give me that temptation. Mr. Speaker, I hope I have your permission to continue speaking. Yes, you have my permission, but Mr. Speaker, I think that you have to draw So long you as I hold this Honorable time, member, you have to withdraw it and apologize. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I'm happy you've given me the permission to speak. And Mr. Speaker, one of the cardinals of democracy is to listen to each other, even when we disagree with each other. And Mr. Speaker, on Order 106, I am reading to say the intention to refer to the committee Honourable Member, is resume wrong. your seat. Resume your seat. It is wrong. It is cannot be right. And therefore, I beg to second the motion with a clear indication any attempt to move this matter to a committee will be a travesty of justice done to the chamber of this house. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. I direct that all what the minority chief has said after I have told him to withdraw and apologize be expunged from the records. I so direct Hansard expunge everything from the record. Minority Chief Whip, you have a difficulty in catching my eye again.